welcome back to V Vlog. So today is the day that we're trying out the super disgusting Gooey Louie toy. This came out in the 90s. We have like an updated version. So this one that we have is not like literally from the 90s. It's new from Amazon, but it's the same like toy, if that makes sense. So we're gonna try that today. It was a part of a video that I did about a week ago talking about like the most disturbing toys that ever came out. Some of these were pulled from the shelves. This one obviously wasn't. People still want it even in 2022. So we're gonna try it, it looks so gross. He has like boogers that you have to pull out of his nose. I don't know who comes up with these weird kid toy ideas, but this is what the kids want. So as an almost 30 year old adult, I'm gonna try this game and see what all the hype is about. But a lot of parents have said this is a disgusting game. Like I said, there was one parent uh, while a boy was playing with this on his birthday that actually threw up because she was so disgusted by it. So if you guys are weird about boogers, maybe don't continue watching, but they're fake boogers, okay? I can even show one right now. There's one on the table. Ty's trying to set it up right now. This is one of the boogers. <laughs> It looks so gross and it's like squishy and you can like pull it. So we're gonna be doing this and I also, I, I didn't say this in the video that I filmed a week ago cause I was just gonna get Gooey Louie but I decided to also get the puppy surprise dog toy because I was so like confused by it. So you buy a puppy and you don't know how many like, or no you don't buy a puppy, you buy a dog you don't know how many puppies are gonna be in her belly and then you have to help her give birth. So that'll be the next video. Thanks for subscribing to this very strange content. I'll show you Ty doing the setup right now. Is it confusing, Ty? A little bit. This is a little uh, bit intense when it comes to uh, setup, but uh, basically you have to jam all these into his nose. <laughs> There's a little opening here, so there is, you know, ease of use. Ew. Someone tells me that the 90s version uh, might have required you to kind of go in there. But there's one of the, uh, as they call it, gooeys, just for the sake of people who are squeamish, is attached to a hook, and when it pulls open, his, brain his head pops, pops open and the brain pops out. Yep. So I guess the goal is to uh, not have that happen, or it is to have that happen. The player who causes Louis to sneeze his brain out Oh my god! It's now out of the game. That is a lot. And then, so there's dice. So what, you roll the dice and that's how many you have to do? How many you have to do or it changes which direction the game is playing or if you're skipping a turn. This is going to be interesting, especially as a texture person, just going in there and trying yep. to, yeah. That's a lot of boogers. Yep. I gotta say, that's a lot of boogers. We're going to set this up. And then we're gonna see who loses and pops the brain out. This is what we're doing on our Sunday morning. I probably shouldn't have eaten breakfast first. I haven't even had breakfast <laughs> and this is what I'm doing instead. <laughs> Playing this really weird game. Okay, you just gotta jam it in there, I guess. Really just, just stuffing them in there. Just <gasps> jam them in there. Come out his nose holes. That is lovely. All right, boogers are in. Boogers are in, they're fighting their way out. It's hard to close his nose right now. It is. <laughs> He's very congested at the moment, but we gotta jam the brain in there. And I thought you were supposed to take this off until I realized that it squeaks. He, <laughs> he screams when- He his... screams when his brain gets shot out. So let's just jam it in there. It's not the proper orientation, but it's good enough. Wait, this is a jump scare game. Yes, it is. I don't like jump scare games. It's a jump scare game with pulling boogers out. I'm really scared. Watch when I pull the one at the very start that pops well, the brain out. You're supposed to actually roll the booger dice, which is kind of nasty because it has like the booger texture around everything. So uh, yeah, so you can either have to pick one, pick two, you skip, but if you're playing in a larger group, you can change the direction of the play. So it's your turn, throw it through the dice tower. I'm really tempted just for like D&D &D and stuff like that. That can be my dice, my dice tower. Oh They'll my be very God. confused if I had that. Okay, here we go. It goes to the back of his head. One booger. You just have to do one. There's literally one just hanging out of his nose. This is so weird. Okay, I'm going for this booger right here. Ty, if this is the one, I'm gonna scream. Okay. <laughs> Ew, that's so gross. Take him. I'm just looking at the rules and it says, please instruct children to keep their faces at least 12 inches away from Louis's head to avoid being struck by the jumping <gasps> brain. I didn't even think about that. I didn't think of that either. So we shouldn't be trying to pick him like this because we're going to get hit right. Yeah, turn him it. sideways. Yeah. <laughs> just one. Oh, that does not feel right. Even though I, like, I know it's rubber and stuff. Oh, it does not feel right at all. <laughs> It was one of the looped ones, but it wasn't the one that was connected, so. Okay. Your turn. Just one. 
And at this point, I'm just feeling for one. Dig in there, come on. Get one of the deep ones. Here we go. Oh, it's stuck. It's stuck. I think it's the one. Just pull it. Okay. <laughs> I love how there's just like boogers all over the table right now. The dogs are patiently waiting for whatever the heck that squeaky noise was. So as soon as the brain gets launched out, we they're have gonna to, freak out. they're gonna freak out, but they're also gonna dive on it. It's my turn though. Just one. I feel like uh, there's, there should be more like twos or something. I know there should be. Get more suspense. Okay. I love I how. <laughs> the, the, the the goal is between you and I. Let's have a house rule. We have to start increasing how many we take per turn. No. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do two. I love his facial expression. Yeah, just screaming. But like, it looks like I'm strangling the guy. Yeah, I know. In Grabbing a booger. All the rules that my parents told me about picking your friends, but you can't pick your friend's nose is going out the window right now. This is our booger stash. Oh, I got a looper. Oh, there we go. I'm going through the other nostril now. This is giving me anxiety. This is the anxiety booger game. This is gonna be it. This is not this made is gonna for be big it. hands. Let's just get in there with the thumb. That might help. Or go both ways. <laughs> See if we can maybe pinch one off. Do like a nice pincer attack. My, my fingers are just <laughs> yeah. too big. You need nails like I have. Yeah. Okay, that's one. Watch when like none of them work. Yeah, this is when I actually forgot to loop it properly. <laughs> then we'll just win the game. We'll just, we'll just have to reload and do it again. There's only two. There's only two left. I think so. Get in there. That was a big one. Uh-oh. Pull it. Bean, why? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get to pull it yet. Thomas, let go of it. <laughs> that was scary. So I'm the loser. You are the loser. How's that make you feel? The booger didn't even fully come out. Because it's looped on a hook in there. Yeah, but I thought it would come out a little bit more, you know? I wasn't ready for that. It actually scared me. All right, guys. Well, that's the Gooey Louie game. It was, it was interesting. It was very suspenseful. Give it a good four out of five. If you want to pick boogers. Look at all these boogers. The thing is, learns. what are we going to be doing with this? We should keep it. Should we, we bring it out for parties? Yeah, we should. See, like games like this remind me of, did you ever have one of those? It was like the crocodile tooth game or something like that? Yes, where, where you, you have to press, pr down the teeth. press down the teeth and, and then, then the yeah, down just on get, you. yeah. That's basically what this game is, although a little less painful because that crocodile tooth thing hurt. It did. It Toys like, back in the day, like, were, were not kind. I hope you guys enjoyed. The next video is going to be Puppy Surprise. <laughs> Why is this come to our lives right you now? Just, you've told me just the bare minimum about it, and I'm just curious, what niche does it fill? I was like, there's a pregnant dog coming to our house in a box, and he's like, sounds good. So we're performing a C-section. We are. That's what's so weird about it. I didn't know there was a uh, puppy C-section <laughs> uh, category for toys these days. There is. It's very popular, actually. All They're right, all then. sold out except for one. I got the last one. You just ruined somebody's day, the one person looking for it. I wanted it. I wanted a pregnant dog. Anyways, have a good rest of your day, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. See you guys. Oh, Ty.